Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be Harry Muppet. We are going to be casting another Go For SC2 Cup Grand Finals, and this was uh, this was the May Cup. It's not actually run in May. I've uh, been confused by that for quite a while, actually quite about a month, which is quite a while for me. And I thought, hang on, this is a, this is a May Cup, but it's not run in May. It came out in June. What the hell's going on? The thing is. They have a bunch of weekly cups and Sunday cups and all that sort of stuff. And they run them all in like April, May and stuff like that. And if all the weekly cups and Monday cups and Sunday cups and all that you run in May, you get to qualify for the monthly May Cup. Now, however, since all the qualification happens in May, the actual May monthly cup is run at the start of June, which is why these replays didn't come out till, uh, God damn, I keep knocking plates all over the place, until it didn't come out until, um, halfway through June because I assume it was run at the start of June but here we go this is the May monthly cup run at the start of June this is the grand final of the go for SC2 cup It's run by the ESL which is the uh, oh crap I've forgotten what ESL stands for um, uh, let's just grab a link no that doesn't tell me either I've got the website and it doesn't even tell me it's European something league European Starcraft League, that probably makes sense. So, here we go. Up the top right of the side, we do have our blue Zerg player, Hyun, otherwise known as Quantic Hyun. And down the bottom left side of the map, we do have our red Protoss player, Wellmu, from the NRS clan. I'm not sure what NRS stands for, but I do know that this is actually quite loud. It sounds a bit loud, so I'm going to turn my speakers down. They were up before, but they're going down now. And yeah, some very exciting things going on. Now, our player, Hyun, over here, he was in the Go for SC2 Grand Final the previous month, so the April Cup. He got right up to the end and he was facing a Terran player named Mental King, and they had a massive battle, and I did cast that. It is on my YouTube channel, so just search for Go for SC2, and you should be able to find it. Unfortunately, Mental King managed to get the, uh, get the best of uh, Hyun in that game, but Mental King isn't in this game. Instead, is going to be our Protoss player, Wellmu, and Hyun is going to have another crack at getting that 500 euro prize money for this game. So there we go, 500 euros is a grand final prize for the monthly cup. We're going to see exactly how we're going to do. Oh, here, there's actually a distribution here. 300 for your first place, 150 for second, Third and fourth. Well, that doesn't add up to 500 at all. Um, whatever. Either I'm wrong, or this guy's wrong, or somebody else is wrong. I don't know. But regardless, the fact is, I'm not getting any of the money. You guys watching the game, you're not getting any of the money. So it doesn't really matter too much. But the only thing that matters is how awesome this game is. And speaking of how awesome this game is, we should probably actually talk about what's going on. Now, he's got the hatchery down. Shut up, you stupid... Uh, stuff happening all over the place. My phone going off. So he's got the spawning pool out. I think he got that out before the hatchery, but I'm not sure because I wasn't paying any attention. He's getting speed out. So that's fine. None of the players have actually gone over with the uh, exception of this overlord to actually scout out the other person's base. I don't believe... There may have been a probe running over here before that I missed, but I think it's been pretty standard so far. So we got a cyber call with gates coming down. We've got the expansion. Looks like he's going to get a different kind of gate made up of gateways over here. So it's fairly standard sort of stuff. The next is going down at about the four minute. He didn't go for like a fast forge or anything like that. He just went for normal stuff. Not expecting the hard push from the Zerg player. And the Zerg player is not going to give him a hard push. So it's going to be fine. A little bit laggy here. I'm actually brought an external hard drive today from Harvey Norman and I'm copying all of my um, all of my previous casts onto the external hard drive because I've uh, I've already got about 150 gig of them and I didn't want them taking up space on my normal hard drive because I am expecting to be just casting my ass off over the coming months so got an external hard drive they're all gonna go on there and if my computer explodes in a flaming ball of fire from casting too much Starcraft 2 all those videos will be safe so we got some links coming on here he's gonna time it for when speed comes out there we go speed comes out but the Protoss player already well prepared he's got two sentries so not much that these links are going to be able to do in here 
Even when they start getting taken down, there's the force field. A couple of links managed to get past. Actually, that's four links. Four links managed to get on the other side of the force field. So unlucky, he should have put it back a little bit, but there you go, what can he do? He's going to warp in a couple more sentries. He's built a pile in there, so that's going to keep that out. It's two lings coming in here. They're going to get a scout off, but not much else. And the Zerg player, man, he's uh, he went for a little bit of push there, but he's not going to get much else going on. Ling's deciding to do an attack, but the probes are ready for them. They're just going to jump away as soon as they get attacked, trying to... Uh, they'd like to kill a probe, but their main aim, I think, is just to pull probes off the mineral line as much as they can. But here comes one Stalker. That's going to end that harass. Protoss player completely walled off. I think he's going to be happy to leave it completely walled off, and he'll probably kill one of those pylons in the next minute or so when he uh, decides he's uh, safe to move out. But the Zerg player, meanwhile, has got some roaches coming down. He's got an Evo chamber over here, so that is uh, plainly going to be just trying to stop a run-by in here. I can't imagine the Protoss really doing a run-by here, so it's not really necessary for a gate, but, you know, it can't possibly hurt to have an Evo chamber there. Here we go, a bunch of more Lings coming in. They're not going to be able to do anything though, even without the Mothership Core. Protoss is well defended from Lings here. The Zerg play is going for Roaches. He, he was building some before, was he? No, his Roach, his Roach thingy-me-bob has finished. He's getting a speed for his Roaches, but right now he's concentrating on getting that third base out. So we have a look at the income here. The Zerg player, you'd expect him to be in front, and he is in front, so that's good. In front by about... Oh, math, math time, it's about 15, 16 workers. So that's pretty good, he's got a nice advantage. Protoss, Protoss, he's not building workers at the moment. That's a tiny bit of a fail there, he's not maxed out. He should max out both of these bases. He's, uh, he was controlling this hallucinated phoenix, so we'll, uh, we'll let him have that one. Forgetting to build probes because he was controlling a hallucinated phoenix, that's uh, quite fine. He's got a macro hatch there. And he's got another hatch over here, so he's going to be able to build a crap line of units at one time. And he's really going to be able to make use of this massive amount of income that he's got. You see, he hasn't gone up much yet, but the Protoss is starting to catch up again. Protoss actually going for a dark shrine here, all the way up the back of his base. So, it has been going fairly standard so far. Getting Blink out here for his stalkers. He's got quite a lot of gateways as well. And... Yeah, so he's going to be able to macro up a huge army whenever he wants with this massive amount of gateways. We have the structures, five and so about eight gateways. And off two bases, that's a pretty decent amount. I mean, you wouldn't expect to see this until like the 15, 20 minute mark, but he's getting it now. And yeah, he should be able to do some damage with it. You probably don't need that much to be able to help secure this third base, but he is in a bit of trouble now. There's a very large amount of roaches coming in. I do not think that he has speed on his zealots. No, so it's going to mainly come down to the stalkers and the sentries to defend this. And he doesn't really have the forces at the moment. So he's going to have to warp in a large amount of forces. Or maybe he'll just have to hold off until the Dark Shrine comes out. But yeah, I'm not sure. He's got an Overseer over there, so the Dark Shrine is not going to be effective at all. There's some very nice force fields here, but he didn't quite get off the edges. And he still managed to split it. He had to chuck down a few more force fields, but finally gets it done. However, these middle ones, uh, yeah. There's a bit of a missed micro, not getting the edges there. And he wasn't able to wipe these out by the time the rest of the forces came up. And this is going to be a pretty hard defeat from the Protoss player there. The Zerg coming in there, he's got the uh, Dark Templars. But the Overseer is hanging around somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. Where is the Overseer? Uh, where is the Overseer? He's left his Overseer somewhere else. I'm not sure where it's gone, but it is sorely missed at the moment, and the Dark Templars really making themselves known in this game. It is No, that's just an Overlord. Where's the goddamn Overseer? I do not know. I really don't. But it looks like Dark Templar or no Dark Templar, this force is just uh, fairly massive. Protoss trying to get out some more forces. He just lost about two gateways. So he's, uh, he's starting to rely a bit more heavily on his Dark Templars. Because if the Dark Templars don't win him this game, he is really, really going to be in trouble. And here comes the Overseer. And I think this is just going to be it for our Protoss player. 
He's getting the workers in there. He might be able to wipe out this remaining uh, Roach Force if he gets a bunch of units down there, but he would be uh, he would be crippled economically even if he did take out these all these guys. And he just kind of choose to give a GG. Going to let the first game slide. And Hyun coming out there, doing a lot of good damage. The 10-11 minute Roche push is very, very, very scary off two bases. You get the third base, and as soon as the third base is down and mining, you just build roaches like there's no tomorrow. And the macro hatch really, really helped him as well. You can see he's building 28 lings and 7 roaches at the moment. So his macro is completely scary. Look at this, 30-minute mark, 156. All low-tier units, and he really pushed the workers early on. So he didn't build any army at all, except for a couple of lings early on. He just built the drones. And once he had three bases fully mining, you build so many roaches so fast, and that is exactly what he did. The Protoss just could not keep up with him at that point. So there we go. That is the first game of the Go4 SC2 Cup monthly final run back. The May monthly final wasn't actually run in May, but it's the May monthly final. Is game number one. It has finished off. Wellmu has come out. He's made it all the way to the grand final, and he's gone out there. He, uh, he was strong at the start, he looked fairly solid, but um, Hyun just showing him that 11 minute roach push is not something you can just sort of uh, faff your way through. You really, really have to uh, know that it's coming. You really, really have to do a bit better to defend against it. And right now Hyun is in a very good space, he's one up, is a best of five series, so he's just going to win two more games, whereas Wellmu is going to have to win three more games. So the pressure's on him now, will he be able to turn it around, and will Hyun go for this 11 minute roach push again? And if he does, will Wellmu be able to counter it? There we go, thank you very much for watching this game, this has been Harry Muppet, I'll catch you guys in the next game.